Hey guys! Alright. There's an iguana in my room. This is not something that I've had to deal with in my life before. But I, will, I figured I'd, I'd share this experience with you guys because I now have to get a lizard out of my room. Because I don't want to wake up with a lizard in my face. Okay? So we're going to go in here. And it's not a very big iguana. But I mean, it's bigger than any lizard you see in the States. Like, this thing's like the size of my head, pretty much. Alright? So, first we're just going to show you. Alright, so that's my bed. And then, iguanas, just like many small animals when they're running away in fear, tend to skirt along the wall and then follow the wall. So if we look down there, I don't know if you can see that tiny little black dot, but that is actually the iguana's foot. So we're about to move this bed, and then that iguana is going to start freaking out. Alright, you ready? Iguana. Yo, wait. Is that iguana dead? Are you alive? Oh no, please don't be dead. I don't want a dead iguana in my life. Hello? Are you, uh... Are you... Are you alive, buddy? I have a bed on my head. I don't know if I can... I need to get him to go that way. Um, okay. Here we go. We're gonna open the door more. Uh-oh. Alright, now the bed is as far up as it can go, and this iguana is hopefully not dead. He was very much alive earlier, so I'm pretty sure he's just kind of freaking out a little bit. Let's see if we can get a close-up of him. Iguana, iguana. I think this is an iguana. I don't actually know. Pretty cool though, isn't it? Look at that. Look at him! He's a little iguana! Whoa. Is he dead? Are you, are you okay, buddy? You're gonna, you're letting me get really close to you. Alright, moment of truth. We're gonna... Oh! Oh! Alright, he's alive! He's alive! Awesome, that's really comforting. Alright, so now he's behind the fan. And I'm... There's the bed. Okay, so we got to try and get him. He's going to go in the bathroom. How about we shut this bathroom door? Sounds like a good idea. Then we move the fan. Run away, Iguana! No! Come on, buddy! Dude, that's not the way you're supposed to go. You're supposed to go out there. So you can go into the yard and be free. And run with all your Iguana buddies. Look, dude. All right. Ah! Oh my god. Okay. Could you please just go over there? That would be great. Like seriously. I'm not trying to dampen your day. I just want you to live a happy iguana life. Yeah, good thing I shut the- No, that's the, where the kitchen is. God damn it. Dude. Just go over there. Are you going towards the kitchen? That's good. At least now I know that, uh, alright. I want you to be free, little dude. I don't want you to live a life of servitude. I want you to meet all the pretty lady iguanas. Yeah, there you go. That's right. Alright. Hide behind the pail. Come on. Why'd you turn around? Oh, you're trying to... Okay. Yeah? What if you go in here? See, the thing that's interesting about reptiles is that they have very, very, very little stamina because they're cold-blooded. So they can move very quickly for short bursts of time, but then they have to recover. And you can tell that based on the way this guy's moving. Like, I mean, he was absolutely terrified of me, right? I mean, I'm right here, right up in his face, and he doesn't care. It's because he doesn't have much energy. He's really, really tired, and also, Iguana are used to moving on grass, right? This is not grass. This is really slippery. So you can see that when he runs, he just goes like this. He doesn't take his time to move slowly, which would actually enable him to get away faster. Instead, he's just stuck here 
I don't know if Iguana Bite. He's pretty cool though, isn't he? Alright, so now our goal is to get him over there. So, I have a feeling he's going to go along this wall, and maybe he'll fall into one of these holes. I don't really know what's going to happen in that case. He got here somehow. I don't really know how, but being in the grass and having all this to play around in, I think is probably better for his iguana long-term longevity than being in the kitchen or under my bed. So we're going to try and get him to run away. Come on, buddy. Are you all out of energy? Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on. Why don't you just come into the little pale thing here? Come on, you can do it. I know, you're tired. There you go, there's your burst of energy. Look, you're almost there. Freedom, Mr. Iguana. Oh, come on. You had like a 90% open window and you took the tiny 10% trap. Uh, you know what's really frustrating about this is that uh, he's, I'm going to try and get him to turn around, but chances are he's just going to run all the way back to the freaking kitchen. So our solution here is going to be to shut this door, and then hopefully, just hopefully, we can get him to, uh, all right, so what's our, what's our method going to be? Well, first, I need some fluid. I need to hydrate. Ah. All right. So now I'm hydrated. I got this little pail thing here. So we're going to try. Ideally, I'd have some kind of box and I could just block him. Or ideally, I could just remove this door. So, oh, whoa. Oh, holy crap. No, come on, dude! Did you see that? He jumped into the pail, that was perfect, and then he went back into the dark recess. Does he not realize that his freedom is towards the light? Alright, come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, get scared. Feel the movement on your tail. Feel the vibrations. There you go. I see you. Are we ready for another iguana close-up? Uh-oh. Dude, just, there you go, there you go, there you go. All right, you're in the pail. Oh, that worked so well. This iguana is so confused. Oh, oh, no, 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 what are you doing? Dude, what is wrong with you? You're an idiot. Oh, oh, God damn it. Now the iguana's gonna die down there. That's no good place to be for an iguana. There's nothing down there. It's a drainage tunnel. Oh, no. I don't even... Oh, crap. I can't even pick this up. No! Buddy! Oh, fuck. That iguana's gonna die in this hole. Well, hopefully... Hopefully this tunnel leads somewhere. I really wanted the iguana to go live out in this abundant yard to live the rest of its life in, in peace and prosperity. But the second it saw all of the possible freedom, it just ran back over here into its little jail. Oh man, that kind of sucks. I'm like legitimately bummed out. I was kind of hoping that we'd have an iguana that just lives in the backyard all the time. But now it's either going to die in there or escape and never come back because that is definitely a one-way exit. I'm trying to think where the iguana even came from in the first place. So like I said earlier, iguana are cold-blooded, so they really like to sunbathe. And a lot of the iguana hang out on that wall up there. I don't know if you can see the ledge, but right above that light where the white wall ends, there's a little ledge. And so every night, or every, and if I go out up there during the daytime, you can look on this ledge and see some iguana. So maybe that iguana was up there and then just fell down in here, got scared, and ran into that room. 
They seem to go to places that are dark. So that's possible, but... Alright, well, I got the iguana out of my room. I guess that's a good thing, right? See you guys. Bye-bye.